Hi everybody, so today we're going to be looking at imperative verbs today, lots of work around verbs. An imperative verb, remember, is a bossy verb because we often use these in instructions because we're telling somebody to do. And this week we're going to look at instruction work. So today we're just going to start to look at imperative verbs to help us to then be able to write some instructions this week. So if you need a little bit more support on this, then there's some websites here, some links that you can um, type in to watch around imperative verbs. And it gives you a little bit more details and some work around that if you want that. So first of all, I want you to have play a game with your grown up, with your brother and sister, whoever's in the house with you. Play Simon Says and how many imp different imperative verbs can you think of? So, for example, jump is an imperative verb because it's a bossy word jump up and down or run run on the spot click your fingers so remember that first word is that bossy verb it's an imperative verb and it tells somebody what to do so play simon says and have a think of different imperative verbs you can use pause the video and off you go play simon says so some imperative verbs we've got so if we're writing cooking instructions we might use some of these words like stir, add, whisk, pour, mix, spoon, beat, fry, cook and bake. And that tells the person what to do, doesn't it? If they're cooking something, they know they've got to whisk some eggs or cook in the oven, bake in the oven. Craft instructions. So if you're going to make something, you need some instructions around craft. So cut, paint, bend, draw, turn, colour, fold, score and tear. So again, the craft instruction tells you something that you need to do. Cut out the circle. Paint the square red. So those imperative verbs tell that person what to do. Some direction instructions. So if you're telling somebody a direction, you might need to tell them where to go. And you might use the words step, face, rotate, take, turn and walk. And exercise instruction. So if you're doing some exercise, you might tell somebody to run, hop, jump, skip, bend, walk, stretch, relax and move. So remembering those imperative verbs at the beginning of your sentence help the person know what to do in an instruction and like I say we're going to be looking at that over the next couple of days. So here are some imperative verbs that we need to add into these sentences. So read the sentences and choose the imperative verb which goes in that space. Write it down and then don't forget to send it over on tapestry. If you play the video after this, the answers will come on and then there is another task. So pause the video and have a go at these sentences. We've got read the instructions carefully. So read is our imperative verb. Eat your lunch nicely. So eat is the imperative verb. Pour the juice slowly into the jug. Pour being the imperative verb. Remember, it's a doing word. It's in a bossy verb that we're telling them to do. And then we've got jump over the bench. So your last task for today is to design a poster around imperative verbs. But I want you to choose one of the four headings. So we've just talked about cooking instructions, craft instructions, direct instructions or exercise instructions. So for example, a poster could be if you choose cook, you might want to draw a chef, a set of pans, some wooden spoons, some plates and a jug or bottle of milk and add some imperative verbs too. So you're not just creating a poster all around verbs, you're drawing some pictures of what would happen around that verb. So if you are drawing a chef, you might then add the word next to it saying bake in the oven. So you're adding that instruction alongside your picture. So when you're maybe putting some plates, okay, you might want to again pop an instruction next to it or a verb, but it's entirely up to you. It's your poster and I can't wait to see your wonderful designs. What I'll do is I'll pop the other screen back on so you can maybe use some of these words to help you with your poster. So choose either cooking, craft, direction or exercise. Have lots of fun.